Welcome back guys. So in this video, we're going to continue moving forward with, you know, uh, the minor detail section and we're going to be working on this area. So, uh, let's get into it. So first things first, uh, let me toggle off the body so you can see what we're going to be doing. Uh, we finished this section. So we're going to be working on creating these pipes that go from here to here. And, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's toggle back on the bodies. And first thing I will do is create a line, right? So I'll make a pipe. So I'll create sketch, select the 2d background or the plane. Doesn't matter. We can use a line tool and the hot key for that is L on the keyboard, or you can hit the create drop down, go to line as we learned in the previous videos. And what we just want to do is just uh, draw a line from about here here right click hit okay now we're going to create a pipe out of this so let's hit finish sketch go down to create locate pipe and we'll select this line here and um i think this is a pretty good settings uh 0 0.6 should be good for the size or let's make it a little bit smaller maybe uh 0 0.58 so let's put 0 0.58 and change the operation from cut to new body. Hit OK. Now we can't see it, so we're going to right click on the body layer and go to move. And then uh, here we're going to rotate to the back view of the canvas, and we're just going to slide this to the left. So we rotate back around. We'll see it, uh, you know, protruding outwards. And this is pretty good, but let's uh, do a quick rotation to see how this looks. And we want this to be touching this area, so we'll bring this back a little bit. That looks good. That looks really good. So let's hit OK. Now we got the pipe there. Now we want to toggle back off the body so you can see this little curvature here on the pipe. Now there's a few different ways we can go about doing that. And we know in Fusion 360, there's a million ways to go about getting the same effect. It's all about finding the one that you want to use for it. Now, the most predominant shape I see that's cutting through this is a uh, some type of pipe. So if you envision a pipe, you can see that it's um, basically just bullying that shape away. So if we toggle back on our body, what I can do is create a pipe from this ring here. So I'll go to create pipe. And just like we did that line, we'll do another one, but just with this border edge here. And we'll make this somewhere around here that looks good um yeah 0 0.58 or we could do 0 0.6 for this one and we'll change it from cut to new body we'll hit okay now we have to position this right because we don't want it just right here because the cut would just be too drastic so let's right click on the body layer and we'll go to move and let's move this up higher and to the right. And I think we can move it um, a bit higher up. So we'll test this out. Let's hit OK and let's do a quick uh, Boolean. So let's go to Modify, Combine. We're going to combine the first pipe with this ring pipe. And you can see that shape that's, you know, happening. And that looks good. So I think I'll um, leave it on cut and I'll hit OK. Now that we have that shape, what I want to do is just pull this a little bit higher up to the surface. So I'll right click on this. And then I'll go to move slash copy. And then I'll select this plane here so I can move this up higher. And I'll move it up bit higher to about here and what I'll do is hit OK and the last thing I'll do is just split this up I'll go to modify split body select the body we want to split we have the splitting tool and the splitting tool will be the surface hit OK and I just want to remove this so I'll right click on the body layer go to remove now that's gone it looks good. 
So now what we can do is um, do a couple more slices, right? So let's toggle off the bodies. And then there's a ring that goes here down this uh, path. So we'll just create another line right here to splice and slice this up. And then we'll start venturing off to these areas. So let's talk back on the bodies. And now we can you know, go back to the right view. I'll select this surface here on the back, go to create sketch. Then I'll go to offset so I can see it a bit better. And there's other ways to go about uh, cutting this, not just this. This is just the way I prefer. I'll press pull that and go back to the right view. And then I can just pull this back to where I want to slice it, which will be here. And I'll uh, also change this from one side to two sides so I can get that secondary cut, which will be here. And then we'll uh, change from cut to new body, hit OK. And now we'll slice this up. So let's go to modify, um, split body, choose our body to split. And for the splitting tool, we'll choose this surface. Let's hit OK. And then we'll remove this giant reference body because we don't need it anymore. So right click on it and go to remove. Now we have this slice. So what we can now do is just, uh, if we want to, we can start to offset this by pressing and pulling on it. So really quick, let's toggle off our body. And we'll see this a lot better. And we can toggle off this body really quick because one thing I do want to do is split this really quick. So I'm going to go to modify split body once again. And this time I'll choose this section. And then for the splitting tool, I'll choose this back face here. Hit OK. Now we have this slice going right down the middle, exactly what we want. Right? So we're going to create a pipe out of this later on. But for now, I think uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it so we can start getting some of this other detail. So uh, what we can do is start to mirror this or create a pattern. So we're going to create pattern, circular pattern, select our body. For the axes will be this ring here. We'll change the quantity from three to four because we have one on top, one on bottom, and it's mirrored on the opposite end. So we'll hit OK. So we have something like this. We rotate around. And let's hit OK. Go back to the right view. And I do want to get this nice little cutout section here before we end this video. So let's go to Create Sketch. Select the 2D background or the plane. It does not matter. We'll use a two-point rectangle. We'll start to copy this shape on the inside. And I do want to rotate this, so I'll double click to select the lines, right click, go to move, slash copy, and we'll rotate this to somewhere close to this. That looks good. Let's hit OK. So now that I have my um, body rotated the correct way, what I'll do is uh, hold the left mouse button. So I can select the profile through this body and I'll right click, go to press pull and I'll just pull this through this body. So I'll pull this to somewhere around here. I'll change the direction from one side to two sides. I'll grab this white arrow and drag this somewhere around here where it's still, you know, cutting through the body. We'll change the operation from cut to new body. Hit OK. Now we're going to do a split body. So we'll go to modify split body and the body we want to split will be this. And for the splitting tool will be this cylindrical surface. Hit OK. And now we're going to remove this access area. So we'll right click on the body layer, go to remove. And uh, we're going to right click on the body layer and go to move and copy. And we're going to pull this back. I'm going to pull it back to somewhere around here and then we're going to hit OK and we'll split this once again. So we'll go to modify split body, choose this body, 
and we're going to split it again by this surface. Now what I can do is right click on the uh, second body here, which is the body that's on the inside and go to remove. And then all I have is this body here and I just want to move this body closer to cut off this cylindrical shape. If that makes any sense. So right click on it, go to move slash copy and we're going to move this inwards somewhere around here to where it's just peeking outside the surface. You don't want it all the way through Then hit OK. So now that we move that to that surface, I want to do a pattern. So I'm going to go to create pattern, circular pattern, select this body for the axes. I'll choose this um, here and then I'll change the quantity to four. Hit OK. And last thing I'll do before we end this video is I'll combine this. So I'll go to modify, combine, select this shape here, and then I'll select these four bodies on the bottom. One, two, three, four. Ensure the operation is on cut and I'll hit okay.